Greetings, staff, parents, and my friends of the class of 2018. <laughs> hi, Mama. I promised her I'd say hi when I was up here. <laughs> Graduating right now from Macaulay Honors College as a first-generation college student is such a surreal moment. <laughs> Looking back, I had so much support from the Macaulay advisors, faculty, and staff to guide me through this college experience. I remember my mom and I running to Lehman in the snow to make it on time for my Macaulay interview. And this was two days after I got my wisdom tooth extracted. <laughs> Only to find out that months later, I'd be accepted to such a prestigious honors college with you all. Macaulay saw something promising in us all, and fostered our growth as leaders and academics. I started freshman year exploring the cultural arts seminar in seminar one with Macaulay Lehman. <laughs> I won't forget our last event that semester when we all went to the Metropolitan Opera to watch Hansel and Gretel. And although the winter winds were cold, the love and friendships we made that night we're warm enough to call us a family. I think I speak for us all when I say that there's so much to New York City than meets the eye. Sophomore year began and I began running my own uh, Macaulay Club, Humans of Macaulay. Shout out to Jamima, Udara, Ian, and Maddie for being there. <laughs> and we all, we worked together to plan one of the four major formals that year. And it was at this point that I found myself in the Macaulay building every week. And not just for class, but for meetings and events as well. And this is when I saw student life start to blossom into an integral part of my journey here at Macaulay. The Opportunities Fund provided us all with a transformative experience. Me personally, I was able to travel to Morocco, Hawaii, but most importantly to my home state of Goa. It was traveling to Goa that was such a pivotal moment in my life. I came to the US when I was two years old and America has been the only country I've known since then. Before college, I was made fun of for not being American enough. My peers couldn't handle the strong aroma of my tiffin filled with rice and chicken curry. <laughs> but during college, I was questioned and taunted for not being Indian enough for not knowing my Indian geography or being able to speak Hindi fluently. Nosana could attest to this. <laughs> I didn't know my place and I didn't know, I questioned my cultural identity, where did I belong? So going back to Goa after 17 years, I was able to interact with the locals and teach primary education to less fortunate children in Goa. As the Indian activist Mahatma Gandhi said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And I did just that. This trip not only opened my eyes to the importance of service, but it helped me seek my own identity. I was able to delve into my cultural heritage and embrace my roots. And I hope that you all, class of 2018, have found yourself in this four-year journey. And here we are today, sitting in the United Palace, ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives. We went through this journey together to form our own identities, to lay down our own paths. Four years went by faster than our Macaulay scholarship posted on CUNY First. <laughs> I really want to take this moment to thank all the parents and guardians out there, all the family, my father, my brother, my mother. This whole event, is a new start for us all, but we do it all for you. You are our inspiration and our motivation. I also want to thank all the staff and faculty, my parents, all the friends and families out here, and you all, class of 2018, for allowing me to share my words. Congratulations. <laughs> 